In this video, you will learn how to use a file upload extension to allow a user to upload files in a VoiceFlow chatbot. The use cases include, for example, sometimes a customer wants to return a product due to a damaged package during delivery and needs to upload a photo of the damaged package via the chatbot, or car insurance needs the customer to upload photos of his car in an accident via the chatbot for quicker claims. This video shows you how to use a powerful extension to let users upload photos, documents, text, doc, PDF, audio, and even videos directly in your chatbot. Let's get started. Here is the simple demo. The first text block asks the user to upload the file. Next, we have a custom action block to execute the file upload extension. We put the name ext underscore file upload. We have the default path, complete. We turn on this stop on action so the chatbot will wait until the user finishes and an interaction action is sent. Next, we have a set block. We extract the file from the payload of last event and save it in the variable URL. In the text, we use iframe to display the uploaded file to the user. Here I set the width and height as 500 pixels and the SRC attribute as the URL. Finally, in the text block, we say, thank you. Your file has been successfully uploaded. You can get your file here. We display the URL for the user to click and check the file. Now you can directly use it. Next, we will look into the extension code. If you are not interested, you can skip it because you still can use the demo bot without the need of knowing the code. As the key is the extension file, let us take a look at the code. This is the file upload extension JavaScript code, which is provided by VoiceFlow. I have put the link in the description. We have the name and type response. We check if the trace type or the trace payload name is ext underscore file upload, which we need to put in the custom action block. In the render, we create a file upload container. In the inner HTML, we have the style, a div, and an input with type of file. We then select the file input and file upload box elements. We add an event listener to the file upload box. We also add an event listener to the file input. When change happens, we extract the file. We add an image to the file upload container. We create a new object of data and append the file to it. Then we make an API call to this URL with the post method and pass the data. We then check if the response is okay. If yes, we return the JSON data. If not, we output the error. Next, we then add another image to the file upload container to indicate the success. In the chat interact, we add the type complete, which we put as the default path in the custom action block. In the payload, we add the file and extract the URL data from the result and replace the part of URL to generate the correct one. Using this correct URL, we can open the file in our browser. If there is any error, we will catch it and show the message to the user. Finally, we need to append the file upload container to the element. In the index file, we need to import the extension from the URL. In the assistant, we add our file upload extension name in the extensions array. That's it. As shown here, our demo chatbot is ready. In the website, we click to upload a file. Let us select an image. We can see the image has been loaded. Let us click the link. We can see the image in the browser. The URL is valid for 60 minutes, i.e., it will be expired in one hour. Let's upload another file. This time, we select a text file. It is loaded here, and we click the link. We can see it in the browser. Let's upload another file. We select a doc file. We don't see it in the iframe. Instead, we see it downloaded here. If we click the link, the file is downloaded again. Let's continue. We select a PDF file. We can see the file is opened in the iframe. We click the link and we can see the PDF in the browser. This time, let's upload an audio file. This is a MP3 file we used in our previous video. It is loaded in the iframe and we can play the audio. If we click the link, we can see it is opened in the browser and automatically played. How about a video? 
this time, let us upload a video. We can see the video is loaded in the iframe, and we can play the video. Everything works great, now let us click the link. We can see it is opened in the browser and automatically played. This is fantastic. In summary, we can use the powerful file upload extension to let users upload photos, documents, text, doc, PDF, audio, and even videos directly in your chatbot. You may explore other file types and leave a comment below to let us know if it works. Hope this video helps. If you like this video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. If you have any comments and suggestions, please let us know. Thank you for your support.